This is a KGUN 9 On Your Side news update. The Barksdales are expected to be back in court today. Blaine and Susan were arrested after being on the run for nearly 16 days. The couple escaped from custody while being extradited from New York to Tucson. They are suspects in an arson and murder case right here in southern Arizona. Authorities say the Barksdales were caught near the Tonto National Forest after a tip was called in. The couple is said to be arraigned today at the Pima County Jail. A truck driving institute is holding a career and community resource fair today. The fair is free and open to the public and will have resources for the community from the Community Food Bank of Southern Arizona unit to job path and a U of A mobile health unit. If you have your CDL already, you can apply on the spot. If not, don't worry, they will have a, a H, they will have rather HDS school advisors there to help you sign up for classes. The fair is at the Driving Institute off of Valencia and Wilmot. It will go from 2.30 to 5. There's also a second chance job fair today for people out of prison wanting to get back into the workforce. You'll be able to meet with employers and there will be other resources as well. Of course, don't forget to dress professionally, bring your resume. The event goes from 1 to 4 at the Tucson Convention Center. There's also a workshop being held every half hour from 12 to 2 called How to Work a Job Fair. One well, elective class at Ampi High School is giving students hands-on experience with farm animals. And on your side, Veronica Acosta joining us now with more on what students are learning at the Land Lab. Veronica? Guys, good morning. Well, students, they are learning how to care for pigs, piglets, cows, sheep, and of course, goats. They are learning how to take care of every single one of those farm animals, everything from washing them down to walking them, feeding them and grooming them. That's all in their lesson plan. Now, students learn all of this, not just for fun, of course, but also because they get to show those animals once the Pima County Fair rolls around. Now, the goal at the fair is to auction off their animal, hopefully getting some money out of it. Any student at Amphitheater High School is able to sign up for that Land Lab class. They can be in any grade level through freshman through senior. We do have more information on our website. That's at kega9.com. In the newsroom, Veronica Acosta, kega9, on your site. All right, let's head over to April for a look outside. Good morning, April. Good morning. It is just now starting to go back up. It's still very nice out there. 71, mostly sunny skies. Got a little bit of moisture, but we are expecting much like yesterday, mostly sunny and staying dry at least for a couple more days. But boy, as we get into the weekend, we start seeing some changes. It'll start to get a little gusty late tomorrow. We'll start to see some increasing clouds late to Saturday. You get Sunday into early next week, and yeah, that's when that tropical moisture starts to return to southern Arizona, and that's going to bring us some pretty decent rain chances, especially late Sunday, but more so Monday, Tuesday. Look what it does to our temperatures for the first day of fall. We drop to 89 degrees by Monday.